podcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, traders. Can you hear me and see my screen? If you could, just then type questions. Uh, in the questions, uh, yes. Okay. All right. Great. All right. Let's get started. Okay. Yep. Thanks, guys. Okay. Welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, for more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, the uh, software product comes along with an educational package. Okay, there's an educational course uh, that uh, it's a four-part course. Uh, each part is an hour long. Uh, we start with the very basics, uh, with um, understanding uh, uh, market mechanics and what makes the market move, and then we go uh, into very advanced. Okay, so yeah, even some uh, HFT uh, uh, developments, etc. Uh, starting to identify specific players uh, and uh, in the order flow. Uh, and then every day uh, we have the advanced order flow webinars, okay, that comes along with the, uh, with the product. Uh, and uh, we, uh, we show you uh, the phenomena that Bookmap is uncovering uh, in the live market, and we start to anticipate a price movement based on what we see in the order flow. Uh, the advanced order flow webinars uh, back up the content in the educational course. So you can learn about uh, order flow in, from the educational course, uh, and then every day uh, you can see it live uh, in the advanced order flow webinars. Okay, so uh, let's take a look here at the website. Uh, a lot of new traders in here, so I just want to welcome you, um, and uh, great to uh, great to see, see the interest here uh, in Bookmap. Um, all right, uh, bookmap.com. Uh, we uh, scroll down here, you can see the intro video here, it's just a couple minutes long. Uh, more information here about Bookmap uh, and uh, Bookmap for equities, I'll get to this in just a minute. Uh, and then uh, connectivity, okay, so what is Bookmap? Uh, Bookmap is a software uh, visualization trading platform, right? Uh, so we are a platform, we're not a data provider. Okay, so for futures and U.S. equities, you will need to provide the data. Uh, you can see that there are some trading platforms here, like Ninja, uh, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. We connect uh, via the API of these three platforms, but we are a platform as well. So you can connect directly to CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, IQ Feed, Transact, uh, and then Dev Experts. Now, this Dev Experts. Uh, is uh, for that NASDAQ total view, so it's for uh, U.S. equities. Uh, it's a great data feed. Uh, it's full depth of market and very low latency. Uh, we also connect now uh, automatically to uh, the uh, GDAX exchange for cryptocurrencies. So uh, if you're interested in trading crypto, uh, we now offer it with the Bookmap uh, 7 uh, version that we have. Okay, here are the different packages that are available. Uh, you can either get it monthly or yearly. Okay, there's the digital, digital plus, global, and global plus. So the digital version here is free. Uh, it's, um, it's real time. Uh, you get a full version of Bookmap. Uh, however, you only get one um, uh, symbol uh, that uh, from the GDAX exchange. Uh, and then uh, this is just added as well, uh, U.S. equities. Okay, now this is going to be delayed data, though. Okay, so uh, you can take a look at it, but uh, it will be delayed by uh, oh, somewhere, you know, between uh, 24 and, and 72 hours. Uh, so um, you can check this out, see if this is something that, uh, uh, you know, works for you. Um, the, um, uh, you only get uh, one digital currency uh, at a time. Uh, and you get just the basic education uh, and limited support. Okay. Now the G digital plus is thirty-seven dollars per month. Uh, you get um, the uh, GDAX exchange as well. Okay, just like you do with the free one, uh, except uh, it, you get the ability to trade from the chart there in Bookmap. 
uh, in real time. You can record and replay your data, uh, and you can look up uh, at least 20 different instruments. Okay, uh, and you get the advanced education, uh, and you also get the um, uh, uh, full support. Okay, Bookmap Global version. This is for the futures uh, and uh, and U.S. equities. Okay, so it's everything in digital, plus you get connectivity to futures and equities, uh, but you will need to provide the data. The global plus is everything in global, uh, including uh, the uh, one-click trading, and you can see these um, uh, add-on indicators that we put together. These are proprietary indicators uh, specifically designed to understand the order flow. Okay, and, uh, and specific players like large lot tracker, uh, iceberg detector, uh, and uh, uh, we're looking for larger players in how they're um, providing liquidity or uh, pulling liquidity in that uh, in the order book. All right, uh, let's jump into Bookmap. And uh, ah, no, uh, one more thing, a few more things. Uh, so uh, you can follow us here on Twitter. Uh, you can see some uh, new uh, uh, articles here. Uh, lots of lots of new stuff here uh, coming up uh, at bookmap underscore pro. Uh, you can also subscribe to our YouTube page here. Uh, all sorts of videos, and I'll just briefly go through it. Um, there's intro videos here in a playlist. You can click on the playlist heading. Okay, features and components videos, uh, and then order flow video snippets. Uh, this is what we go over in the advanced order flow webinars uh, in detail, though. These are concise uh, to the point videos. Uh, un uncovering the uh, order flow phenomena that Bookmap can visualize. All right. Okay. Well, lots of volatility today. Uh, we're going to take a look at the S&P. And um, uh, the, we had the uh, 8.30 data uh, out this morning uh, for the um, uh, CPI uh, inflation data as well as retail sales. Uh, one was uh, positive for the uh, uh, the CPI and the um, negative was on the retail sales. Anyway, you can see this, the massive move here. Okay. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is what we've been seeing lately in the market anyway, uh, because of the uh, lofty uh, stock prices or, you know, market uh, prices. Uh, we know that uh, the, the Fed is going to start raising rates at some point here. Okay. The CPI data, um, you know, starts to uh, shed some light that there is inflation and that they can start raising. Regardless, uh, we can see the massive move down, but then right back up into where we dropped from here. So it's looking poised to maybe test a little bit higher. This is where uh, uh, the swing is around this uh, 75. And you can see high liquidity already in the book there waiting uh, to absorb uh, uh, price as it comes up into this area here. So I'm, I'm sure we're going to get the test here in just a minute here, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll take a look. <clears throat> Uh, all right, so what are we looking at here at Bookmap? All right, there, there's a, a lot of uh, uh, data on, on this chart, okay? But it's actually really straightforward data, okay? We're looking at just three elements. Uh, we're looking at the um, uh, historical best bid and offer, uh, and we're looking at the volume that traded on that historical best bid and offer, and then we're looking at the heat map here, which is the evolution of the dome. Okay, it's the um, uh, what you see in that limit order book, uh, but then it's uh, recorded and plotted onto the chart. So you can see that the bidding and offering, the uh, history of it. Okay, just trading up into uh, 75, 76 level right now. Um, and uh, let's take a quick look here. Okay, this is the swing that I have, and we're, we're right into it right now. Okay, so uh, that was inevitable. Um, but... Uh, uh, any of those traders that uh, were uh, shorting this, putting their stops up above, are uh, getting stopped out. So uh, anyway, uh, the um, uh, let's just go through it here uh, and uh, and take a quick look uh, at these three elements in the bookmap chart. Okay, and then let me know if you have any questions. So uh, the way we'll do this is uh, we will uh, show a candlestick chart, and we're going to take off everything else. Okay, for the moment. Okay, we're all accustomed to this view. Okay, it's a five-minute candlestick chart. Each candle is open, high, low, and close of a five-minute period. Uh, and um, uh, there is uh, a lot of data, though, that happens within that five-minute period. Okay, and we have no clue uh, as to what's going on there. The reason being is that this is aggregated data. Okay, and uh, uh, it uh, is very opaque. We don't know. 
uh, all sorts of uh, details here, like microstructures within that five minute period. Uh, and then the volume too, that traded on those microstructures. It gives tremendous insight here. So let's add uh, the historical best bid and offer. And uh, this is what I mean by microstructures, okay? Like uh, we can see one up here, okay? Uh, it, uh, we, we broke out to, to the upside here, uh, kind of went sideways for a bit, uh, and then uh, came right back down uh, and tested uh, basically a little lower than uh, where we, we broke from here. Uh, and you can see that the buyer stepped in again. Okay. And these little structures are broken, and then the volume that trades within these structures is what gives us the insight. Okay, so let's turn on the volume dots. Okay. And this is uh, very indicative of what I'm uh, speaking of. Okay, so let's, uh, let's uh, zoom in here and uh, look at this very specific area. Okay. And uh, let me bring up the uh, dot size a bit. Okay. All right, uh, well, so uh, very indicative of a trending market, as you can see this little downtrend here, more uh, aggressive sell volume, okay? The red dot is a aggressive market sell. Uh, green is aggressive market buy, okay? Uh, lower lows, more volume uh, on the downside here. We make a double bottom here, as you can see, and then look at the cluster of, of uh, a buying that starts to step in here. Okay, this is different. This is a this is a change in the order flow. Okay, and they they lift the offer above the swing here. Okay, and in fact, not only do they uh, lift it above the swing, uh, look where they come back and retest twice, once and twice. Okay, right where we broke from. Now price is accepting above this 26.55 level. All of this kind of data here is simply not in the candlestick chart. Okay, and we now have an understanding that the bulls are starting to take control here. Okay, we can see the shift in the order flow and the volume, and we also can see that the microstructures uh, are broken. Okay, and uh, this is the kind of insight that you're going to get. Uh, and uh, uh, the um, uh, this is just the two elements here. Okay, and uh, well, let's just zoom in here because I want to show you exactly what uh, we're showing here in uh, in Bookmap because it's very simple and straightforward data. Historical best offer is the red line. Uh, best bid is the green line. You see the red dots here? These are market sell orders, okay? The green dots are market buy orders, okay? The, uh, they cross the spread. They uh, take liquidity, uh, for example, with a market buy, uh, and, uh, and they trade up, okay? They're lifting the offer. Uh, and we can zoom into these little areas, and you can see that Bookmap is recording every single transaction. Look at the timeline down here, and you can see we're looking at microsecond levels. We can continue on, and we can look at nanosecond levels. Okay, uh, now we don't trade at those levels, but we're recording every single piece of um, uh, market market data, okay, and market events. Now, as I zoom back out, note what we do here: uh, we just visually aggregate that into a bigger dot. Okay, so that's how uh, we display the volume. Uh, with within the um, a historical best bid and offer, okay. And at a certain point, uh, there's uh, so much uh, volume that trades in specific areas uh, that we uh, will give you an overall uh, delta of that um, uh, volume with a um, a pie display. Okay. So uh, in fact, let me bring up the uh, volume here, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so you can see that uh, this is a, a smart uh, clustering uh, algo, and uh, the overall volume and shape you can see in the pie displays. Okay, so there's both buying and selling in here, but we're giving you the overall shape. So, for example, here, I mean, the overall shape, overall shape is really straightforward. I mean, you can see it; it's mostly buying, okay? and that's a, that's really a no surprise. Okay. All right, so that's the volume uh, and historical best bid and offer. Uh, and um, uh, reading the uh, the structure and volume together here. Okay, now let's take off the candlestick chart and let's take a look at the heat map. Okay, and what this heat map represents. Okay, this is the third element on the chart. 
Uh, and, uh, and what it's showing you uh, is the, uh, the, the limit order book, the evolution of that order book. Okay. Now, if we go to the current market, for example, uh, here's our dome. Okay. Here's our price ladder. Uh, and you can see that these, these levels here where the high liquidity is. Right. Uh, it's just these numeric values are the number of contracts uh, that are resting at these uh, uh, prices. And this is where we can find sellers up here on the offer and buyers down here on the bid. Okay. Now we take this data uh, and uh, then we uh, we paint uh, it in a heat map here. So when those numbers change and you can see they're changing all the time, the heat map will change. All right. Uh, and uh, and you'll see. Uh, you know, them adding or pulling. Uh, so, for example, then this little area has been getting kind of uh, darker and then brighter. Uh, and then, uh, so they're adding and pulling liquidity. Okay, so you can see here where it got brighter. This is more liquidity was added. And then they started to pull. So uh, that's what we're showing here uh, in the uh, live market window. Here's your best bid and offer and last traded volume. And um, uh, what we do, though, is we take this data and we record it and plot it onto the chart. So here we can start to read the auction, okay? And you don't have to remember the numbers here in the dome because that's uh, a lot to uh, uh, remember. Uh, and uh, uh, it, it's very difficult. There's lots of different things to uh, uh, remember and you, you would have to memorize it. Uh, how much liquidity was at that level? How long was it there? Was it there before? Uh, did they come back in? Did they add or did they pull? What about areas around it? Did they add or pull above? As we can see here, there's higher liquidity up above, and they're starting to pull up here uh, at this 78 level. Okay, so those are all questions that we can very easily answer uh, looking at the uh, the historical uh, auction here. Okay. All right. Well, let's see if we can get up to the 77 level on this uh, rotation. No, not quite yet, um, but uh, uh, maybe uh, one more move to the downside here. Uh, and then it uh, uh, looks like it's poised, though, to come up and test this 77 area, but uh, we'll, we'll continue to read the, uh, the order flow here. Uh, we're starting to see uh, some sellers here. Maybe one more move to the downside here, uh, and then we can, we'll see if we can come back up into this, uh, this area here. Okay. All right. Well, those are the three elements, uh, and um, uh, let's uh, let's let's take a look at uh, uh, you know what what's uh, what's actually uh, going on here. Well, uh, we you saw the move. Um, we were uh, we were witnessing the move uh, kind of taking place in real time up into the 76, uh, 76 and three quarters up here, uh, as you can see, uh, and then uh, uh, you can see that we uh, we sold off. A uh, nice cluster of buying up here, okay, and then also countered here with some selling uh, on on the uh, on the swing to the downside. Uh, yet we're still bullish here, okay. Uh, our structure is still bullish, uh, and um, I'm kind of curious to see that uh, we did not make a uh, a higher high yet uh, and come up and test 77, okay. But uh, uh, we'll we'll see and we'll just read it. Um, and um, I, I like the kind of uh, a buying up here. Uh, I'm waiting for kind of a, a return back up into this area. Um, but uh, as I say that, I mean, we're seeing more selling starting to come into these areas here. Okay, we're reading the tape. All right, so uh, it's kind of sideways right now. Uh, and um, uh, we're starting to understand where the, where the traders are uh, transacting. Okay, so look at this high liquidity that just came in here, okay, at the 72 and a half. Okay, also down here at 70 and at uh, 69 and a half. Okay, so buyers are starting to line up here on the bid side, okay, and the sellers are starting to take them on. And you can see the transactions are taking place here. Okay, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get down uh, below the swing here. Uh, into this high liquidity here, and then I'm curious if we'll get uh, maybe a, a retest back up into these areas here. Okay. Okay. One of the things also we look for uh, uh, is uh, understanding the um, uh, the aggressor, okay, and where they initiated uh, their buying or selling. 
Okay, so for example, they initiated the bind here. Okay, we can very clearly see it. All right, uh, a lot of times what occurs uh, is we get a pullback to that area. Okay, so somewhere between here, maybe here or here. Uh, and uh, and this is that pullback, right? Uh, and uh, we still haven't gotten quite down here yet, but um, uh, and why would we um, uh, pull back into these areas? Well, after seeing a really big move like this uh, to the upside, you know, from 69 up to uh, almost 77, the um, uh, we're, we need to see if there's still buyers down interested at these levels. Okay, and it will support price uh, if they if there are buyers up here uh, at these at these levels here. Okay, and that's what I was uh, showing earlier. Uh, as you can see, the um, uh, these kind of structural areas, uh, some sideways action, and then it breaks and then accepts above. Uh, and um, uh, like like in this area here, here's our our break above this swing, and we come back and retest. Uh, a little, a little bit higher on the retest, so it wasn't very deep of a of a pullback here, uh, and it accepted here at this area, and we get uh, price discovery still to the upside. Okay. Any questions? Starting to see um, the um, uh, here here is a break of the swing down here as you can see okay so and we're starting to see some red clusters in these areas as well okay so it's really kind of on both sides all right and that's kind of why we're going sideways at the moment still looking for that retest back up to the high here. We see that uh, someone's coming in at 76 here uh, with uh, 700 and uh, uh, there's 773 contracts up there. Okay, here come some buyers. Okay, let's see if we can get more buying up here around 73. If we can, then we can break out of this range here and maybe come up to the top of the range. Okay, we're still in the range though right now. So we're still range bound. This is that micro range I'm talking about. Okay, here come some buyers. Now we're getting some, some uh, aggressive uh, buying up at this area here. Let's see if we can get a little bit higher, some price discovery uh, uh, maybe uh, up to uh, 75, but ultimately 76 is the target here. Okay, or even 77. Okay, so this, this auction here just failed uh, right back into the range now. Okay, let's see now now a, a high probability uh, uh, setup here uh, that we uh, note quite quite uh, often here is like if we get to one side of a range and fail uh, there's pretty good possibility that uh, we're going to go to that other side to test it okay so that would be uh, then maybe maybe coming down to 70 here and testing that now Okay, testing 70. Okay, traded into 70 here. Okay, now I'm curious if we're going to mount another attack here to the uh, to the upside. Okay, have this auction fail here. 
we see liquidity coming in at 74. All right, um, let's see, anything else that uh, you guys have any questions about? Now, we do have a, uh, an indicator sub-panel here as well, so we can look at the cumulative volume delta. Let's see if that's giving us any insight here at the moment. Not really. Okay, here come the buyers. Let's see. Let's see them uh, lift the offer now. This is this is looking pretty good. Uh, 74 was that uh, that they started to to come in the book here at 74 a bit. And still looking for um, the ultimate target here would be 76. Okay, so um, in, now if we can get that, that that volume here, what I'm looking for as well is a sweep of the order book. Okay, a very quick move here uh, to the upside. Okay, and ha that's how we break out into new areas. Okay, uh, it's a uh, a sweep of the uh, of the book with all of the liquidity here on the offer taken by the aggressive buyers. Okay, we got up here again and still failed, so we're right back down into the range here. Here's our next rotation. Now let's get that sweep here of the book. We'd love to see it just to demo it. Uh, else we can go find another one. And it's one of the uh, points that we cover in the uh, educational course okay, is understanding the uh, just basic market mechanics of a sweep of the book. It's, 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 it's crucial to understand uh, and um, <clears throat> uh, how uh, the, the markets actually uh, uh, behave in the, the basic mechanics of of the uh, of the market. Okay, uh, this is a book sweep over here, but uh, I want to see it uh, actually break in a range. That would be a little bit better. Uh, maybe here. Uh, this is actually the best. Let's go back here. Okay. Okay, well, there's some selling in here as well, okay? But uh, the majority of this is buying, as you can see, okay? So the aggressive buyer, he's taking all the liquidity here uh, on the best offer, uh, price moves up. as He lifts that offer a couple ticks higher, takes all the liquidity here, and lifts up an another tick here, okay? Uh, let's see, the uh, probably some of the best examples of this, this is not bad here uh, as well. But uh, we can just uh, take a, a quick look over at, uh, at Bitcoin. Uh, and it's just great to see this kind of stuff here. I mean, here's right in, right in our face, right here is our, our sweep of the book, okay? Uh, and, um, uh, you know, they just, um, uh, this, is, this is a beautiful example, okay? It, you see these examples in Bitcoin just, just, just perfectly. Um, so uh, uh, here we have the, uh, the best offer, and then the buyers step in, and they're taking all the liquidity, okay, up to this price level here. Okay, until the next transaction takes place. And then there's more buying here. Okay, a little bit of selling come in here, just a very small amount. Okay, and we have one more sweep. Okay, and where do we go? Target is the high liquidity here. Okay, and that's exactly where we went. 
okay, at uh, 93.50 here. All right. You can also see that um, uh, the spread, how the spread widens out here. Okay, and the best the best bid catches up. Anyway, uh, let's call it a day. Uh, that's the um, uh, the basics here uh, in uh, uh, in Bookmap. Uh, and uh, uh, if you're uh, signed up with the uh, with the product, uh, then we can uh, we'll see you over in the advanced order flow webinar. Okay. All right, guys. All right, thanks. Bye bye.